Pressure in gas. Pressure of gas is produced by the collisions of gas molecules on the surface of an object. When gas molecules collide with the surface, they bounce off, causing changes in the momentum of the gas molecules due to changes in their velocity directions. These collisions result in forces being exerted on the surface of the object, as force is the rate of change in the momentum. Therefore, there is pressure due to the gas, as pressure is defined as the force per unit area. Pressure in air. The pressure in air is similar to the pressure in a liquid, because it acts on an object in all directions. However, the pressure in air decreases as an object rises through the atmosphere. This decreases is because there are fewer air molecules at higher altitudes, resulting in fewer collisions between air molecules and the surface. As a result, there is less total force per unit area exerted on the object. Demonstrating atmospheric pressure. There is air pressure inside the can pushing out, which is equal to the atmospheric pressure outside the can. When the air is removed from the can, there is no air pressure inside. Therefore, there is nothing to resist the outside pressure, and the can is crushed. If the same can is at the top of a mountain, there is air pressure inside the can pushing out, equal to the atmospheric pressure outside the can. When it is moved to the bottom of mountain, it gets crushed. This is because the atmospheric pressure at the bottom of the mountain is greater than at the top, resulting in a higher external force compared to the internal pressure inside the can. Drinking through a straw. You expand your tongs to reduce the air pressure inside the straw. As a result, atmospheric pressure pushes the liquid up the straw, allowing you to drink it. A barometer is a device used to measure atmospheric pressure. The simple mercury barometer consists of a column of mercury with a density of 13,600 kg per cubic meter. When atmospheric pressure is exerted on the surface of mercury, it causes the mercury to be pushed downward and rise up the tube. The top part of the tube is a vacuum which has zero pressure. The height, h, to which the mercury rises represents the excess pressure of the atmosphere. Therefore, the atmospheric pressure can be measured as h millimeters of mercury. We can also calculate atmospheric pressure in Pascal or newtons per meter squared using p equals rho g h. Where p represents pressure, rho represents density, g represents the acceleration due to gravity, and h represents the height of the mercury column. For example, at sea level, the atmospheric pressure is typically 760 millimeters of mercury. To find the pressure at sea level in pascals, we need to convert 760 millimeters to 0.76 meters. Substituting the value, rho equals 13,600, g equals 9.8, and h equals 0.76 into the equation which results in p equals 1.0 times 10 to the power of 5 pascals. If the barometer is placed at the higher altitude, causing the length of mercury decreases because the pressure decreases. If there is some air particles at the top inside the tube, causing the pressure at here is not zero. This cause the pressure from the barometer is less than the actual. For example, we use a barometer that air absence in the top of tube to measure atmospheric pressure at level, its reading will less than 760 mm of mercury. If we change from mercury to other liquid that has lower density than the mercury, causing the length of H of the liquid increases, because this liquid is lighter than the mercury. For example, we change mercury to water. Density of mercury is 13,600 kg per cubic meter, and density of water is 1,000 kg per cubic meter. Atmospheric pressure at sea level is 10 to power of 5 pascals, which causes the length of H in mercury barometer is 760 mm. We can find the length H in the tube if we use water instead mercury at sea level using P equals a rho. G H.
substituting the values in p equals 10 power 5, rho equals 1000, and g equals 9.8, which results in h equals 10.2 meters, which is the height of the building about three floors. Manometer is a device used to measure gas pressure. The simple mercury manometer consists of a U-shaped tube filled with mercury, which has a density of 13,600 kg per cubic meter. There are atmospheric pressure act on the both sides, causing the mercury levels are the same at both sides. When gas is input into the left-hand side tube, the gas pressure pushes downward on the mercury level in the left-hand side, while the atmospheric pressure pushes downward on the mercury level on the right-hand side. If the mercury level is higher on the left-hand side than on the right-hand side by a height h millimeters, it indicates that the gas pressure is lower than the atmospheric pressure by h millimeters of mercury. Therefore, the gas pressure in millimeters of mercury is equal to the atmospheric pressure in millimeters of mercury minus h in millimeters of mercury. For example, to find the gas pressure in pascals when h equals 100 millimeters, atmospheric pressure is 10 to the power 5 pascals, and density of mercury is 13,600 kilometers per cubic meter. The gas pressure equals atmospheric pressure minus rho g h. Substituting the values atmospheric pressure equals 10 power 5, rho equals 13,600, g equals 9.8, and h equals 0.1 meters into the equation yields. The gas pressure equals 8.7 times 10 to the power of 4 pascals. If the mercury levels are equal on the both sides, it indicates that the gas pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure. If the mercury level is lower on the left-hand side than on the right-hand side by h millimeters of mercury, this means that the pressure of gas is higher than the atmospheric pressure of h millimeters of mercury. Therefore, the pressure in millimeters of mercury is equal to the atmospheric pressure in millimeters of mercury plus h in millimeters of mercury. For example, to find the gas pressure in pascals when h equals 50 millimeters, atmospheric pressure is 10 to the power 5 pascals, and density of mercury is 13,600 kilometers per cubic meter. The gas pressure equals atmospheric pressure plus rho g h. Substituting the values atmospheric pressure equals 10 power 5, rho equals 13,600, g equals 9.8, and h equals 0.05 meters into the equation yields. The gas pressure equals 1.07 times 10 to the power of 5 pascals. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and leave a positive comment. Your support will help me to continue making videos and encourage me to create new content. Thank you.